E. Roberts Jr. opened the first ever Barber College inside the Cook County Department of Corrections and has continued to make a positive impact on our local community since. Yeah, and this weekend he's breaking ground on Larry's Barber and Beauty College, marking a new era in beauty education. And he joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Did I read you first started cutting hair at the age of 13? 13 is when wow. I first started cutting Take hair. Wow, take us back. And, and obviously you knew this is, hey, this, I'm going to make a career out of this. Hey, my parents built the house out in the suburbs. I went to Walgreens, bought a pair of clippers for $19.99. And I always say the rest is history. Okay. <laughs> and started cutting my own hair, which I've been doing ever since. All right. And so Very you have cool. opened several shops mm -hmm. uh, across the country, not just here in Illinois, right? Yes. Okay. And then you went on to open barber colleges, mm -hmm. including one at Cook County Jail. How did that come about? Yes. So I've been to Cook County Jail now for 15 years. I'm also in Illinois Department of Juvenile Justice with Governor Pritzker. And it came about because people are so, um, they don't want to give people a second opportunity to do something different. So I figured, why don't I go to the jail? put my school inside of the jail, which now the state allows me to proctor the state board exam inside of the jail with the men and the women. So that way, when they come out, they're able to go right to work. Um, our, the hair care industry is a $547 billion industry. Mm. So I'm also able to put them, put them to work in my Larry's Barber Maximus inside of Walmart. So it's wow. amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so cool. And I, it really goes back to what we were saying earlier. If you look good, you feel good, and you want to make a change within yourself, do you see that? Do you see people responding to you early on, and you're like, hey, Absolutely. people are going to feel good we're, about we're, themselves? We're everything to people who sit in our chairs. We're counselors. You know, we talk about all our business when people come in. That's why it's important. People don't take us serious. And the reason they don't take us serious is because of the fact of our postures inside of the barbershops and salons aren't always cracked up to what they should be, right? Mm -hmm. So the music that we play is very important, you know, um, because mm -hmm. we're servicing whether it's a, a political figure, a mother, a daughter, a father, you know, and we want to make sure that we're presentable and be professional when people come in, right? So um, it's economy proof. It's very, very essential. It's mm -hmm. $547 billion industry. Mm -hmm. um, First haircut was done in 5000 BC. Matter of fact, do you know what the red, white, and blue barber poles stand for? No. So the red stand for blood, the blue stand for veins, the white stand for bandages, and the white, the ball on the bottom is called a bassin. We were doctors and dentists back in the day, right? Ooh. So it was later on in the 1800s when they separated the professions. So now you have a doctor, a dentist, and a Tom Searle artist, which is my name as a professional barber. Okay. So we can be responsible uh, for somebody not feeling too well, you know, leaving our chair if they even make it because it can be a color going wrong. It can be a uh, relaxer going wrong. Okay. We have to learn about hepatitis, A, B, mm -hmm. C, uh, okay. microbiology, folliculitis. It's so much that goes on with that. The education The education care. is very yeah. important, yeah. What has the response been for people who have gone through the college within the system and gotten mm -hmm. out? So I have some testimonials. Um, they have another opportunity to do something different because what happened is is that the recidivism is so high because yeah. when they get out of jail, uh, they go back to what they know because people won't give them an opportunity to do something different, right? So in this industry, you know, you're able to be self-sufficient, but with me, they get W-2s, they pay their taxes, they have 401k um, capabilities, and there's an exit strategy and an end game that comes along with my programs that I have. Okay. So when they get out of jail, they're able to make, these guys are making Two, three thousand dollars a week. Oh, some of yeah. the guys that got out of jail. That's a huge that is difference. Yeah. So right. cool. That's Paying their make... taxes, doing something different, and I'm, I'm really proud of yeah. it because you know I've played a part in helping you know give them hope on being able to take care of their families, their children, and the whole nine. You've done so well, and you've become a mentor to so many people. You have a foundation, and, yeah. and talk about your groundbreaking. Too. So, so data foundation. Basically, I developed that um, because I always say we have to be careful. We don't allow our gift to take us someplace that our character can't handle. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to be great what you do, but then your character doesn't align, right? So we do mentoring, we do life skills, we do uh, mental health, substance abuse, we work with the veterans, we work with the seniors, and I'm also um, opening up a credit union. So I'm coming up on a second Look phase of opening up my own credit union because, you know, a lot of times, you know, especially back in the day, you go to the bank to try and get a loan, mm -hmm. and they, they don't understand our business. So you, I want to have the type of, and I'm a professional musician as well, so my credit union is going to be tailored for the, the music industry and for the hair care industry, so that way when people need our products, I, I understand what they need, and I'm able to help them to kind of, you know, bypass some of the riffraff that, that may happen within the traditional and banks. And some of the obstacles that they face. There. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about your groundbreaking that's happening, what, Tuesday? Tuesday, the groundbreakers. Oh, cool. I'm so excited about this, right? So, 32 years this year being in business, and I'm the first in, in the hair care industry who's building um, a barber school from the ground, and I'm really, really excited about it. So, I'm going to add cosmetology, 
there'll be esthetician and nail school. So there'll be four four schools in one. And I'm gonna have like a little small barber and beauty supply store in there. Oh, I'm gonna have an area in there where people can get their barber chairs and beauty chairs and clippers fixed that. Oh, shit. Um, and my credit union is gonna be there as well. All so right. It's going to be, stop shopping. It's gonna so be cool. amazing. So it's going to be wow. Tuesday, uh, April 23rd okay. from 2 until 5 p.m. So everybody's going to be out, you know, political figures, oh, yeah. pastors, um, everybody who started with me from the beginning all the way to now. I'm really excited about it. So all you guys right. ought to come out, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. On yeah. the 105th in Austin, yes. right? That's so cool. It's, it's up on your screen right now and follow you on social. Congratulations on all your Thank success you so and much. everything so you've awesome. done. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank wonderful. You so much. Absolutely.